The world today is facing a huge amount of challenge ageing populations, scarcity of resource. We're in the middle of a pandemic as we speak, so the economic situation is very difficult. But actually at the heart of it, human beings want to do the right thing, whether you're a single human being or you're part of a corporation. I help design the next generation of emissions control catalysts that go into gasoline and diesel cars to clean up the air that we breathe. I work in JM fuel cells that helps to decarbonise cars. I speed up the manufacturing process for the medicines we make, saving time, money and materials. I'm a research manager at the Johnson Matthew Technology Centre. The work that we do focuses on recycling critical metals, for example platinum, which goes into fuel cells and auto catalysts, and nickel and cobalt, which are used in Johnson Matthew's battery materials. We're a science company, we're a technology company, so our research and development is absolutely at its heart. Johnson Matthey's vision is very simple, it's for a cleaner and healthier world today and for future generations. I work with a team of scientists, chemists, chemical engineers, biologists, data scientists, and it's our role to provide the science to our businesses that they convert to products and processes for our customers making an impact by cleaning air and improving people's health. One of the hardest things to do is really understand what's needed by your customers. You have to work very closely with your customers and we do that through our businesses. We try to overcome that by being very externally facing. So um, a lot of the work that I do is talking to people outside of our company, trying to understand the challenges they're against, what they need from our company to deliver their science. And also we work very closely with academic institutions and innovation centres. And that helps us become more inventive by working with really clever and smart people around the world. So it's my job to make sure we've got the right technology for our customers that deliver their requirements. So we're working with most of the big car companies to develop products for them in the future. And in the nearer term, we're supplying into companies that are making stacks and systems for forklift trucks, delivery trucks, and also some stationary power systems. What we make here is the membrane electrode assembly. That's the, the sort of clever working bit of the inside of a fuel cell stack, the bit that takes the hydrogen and combines it with the oxygen to produce electricity. So this is a fuel cell powered car. It's got hydrogen tanks in the back, carrying about five kilos of hydrogen, enough to give it a range of well over 300 miles. We have a display on the vehicle that shows what it's doing. So we have a hydrogen tank containing the fuel. There's also a small battery. So when we're going along, hydrogen's fed to the fuel cell to create the electricity and that drives the motor. Any excess electricity can charge the battery. So one of the nice things about the hydrogen cars is they're really quiet. So I've now started the engine. Uh, vehicles such as this enable us to drive around without any CO2 emissions at all. If we're to meet our greenhouse emission targets, it's really important that we decarbonise transportation. Now what we're likely to see is a move to what we call a hydrogen economy via methane steam reforming, which can give us blue hydrogen and where there's CO2 produced, but you then capture and store that CO2, and green hydrogen where you're making it by electrolysis using solar electric. We see hydrogen as the ultimate energy vector because it's perfect for heating, uh, for power via a fuel cell and readily transportable so you can put it on a vehicle and use it for transportation. So we as a company work with a huge range of markets and sustainability is important in every single one of those markets. I think one of the difficult jobs is connecting what a product's used for, so for instance if you're making a battery material, connecting what that battery material is used for in real life all the way back down to the atomic level material design that we will need to do. And making that connection is sometimes difficult, but it is really essential. And if you do that well, then you absolutely are great at innovation. And that means really getting value 
from your uh, creative scientists. So in this facility here, every product that we make on site and, and around our batch materials business gets tested. So we look at the chemical composition, the particle size, the morphology, exactly what it is that we've made. And we link that through to the electrochemical performance. So that's how it's going to behave in our customers' applications. And we can figure out how it's going to behave in their hands. So we take our ELNO family of materials, so um, customizable high energy cathode material, and tailor it to what our customers need. So that's taking, customizing the composition, the morphology, the particle size, to try and hit the targets that our customers have. Customization is, is our approach to developing battery materials. Right down to the atomic level, we, we control and design our products to get the right elements in the right levels in the right place in each particle so that when that's in our customer application delivers the performance that current and future consumers will need from their electric vehicles. I believe with our products that we're developing customizing for each customer we're going to be in the position where we're a leader in the market for cathode materials for electric cars. One of the things we are focused on and passionate about in the pilot plant is keeping it sustainable. Part of that is reducing energy consumption of making our product and reducing our carbon footprint. One of the key areas of that is the thermal processing, which is this instrument to our side here, okay? So what you'll see, this is one of our larger pieces of equipment on the pilot plant. As you can see, we also have a lot of instrumentation that feed the different sections of the kiln. This allows us to really control how oxidizing the atmosphere is inside the process and what sort of gas exchange we can get. It's a really key parameter for ensuring that we get the right chemistry for the right product. So a lot of what gets me up in the morning to work for JM is working for a company that genuinely has the ability to make an impact on the world. That is not something you get as a routine combination. We're making a product that is not only a nice to have, it's an absolute necessity for future sustainable transportation needs. For any scientist or engineer, working in research and development, seeing something that we make in the lab for the first time transferred to larger scale and sent to customers for testing. It's a good start and it's great, but knowing that that product is contributing to the electrification of, of transportation and a cleaner, healthier world, is, is, that's what inspires me. For us, sustainability has always been part of what we do because fuel cells is all around being able to decarbonise transportation. And Johnson Matthew were in there at a very early stage. We saw the need for this, and Johnson Matthew were prepared to invest in that and do the R&D needed to get the products available well ahead of the market being there. The future for Johnson Matthew is very bright. People are demanding sustainable technologies. So improving health, energy transition, and efficiency of process. I mean, that's really where we are sitting today and that's our future.